Did you know that with the current AMA Super Cross riders counting, only three riders have ever won at Seattle, Washington, D.C.? This week with the 11th race, which will explode the fun this weekend. Welcome to Ms. Update, the channel for all things motocross. From the latest news to exclusive content, we've got you covered. Whether you're a seasoned rider or a fan of the sport, we'll bring you the stories that matter most. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest content. All AMA Supercross fans. This weekend marks the end of the wait once again for the biggest Supercross race in the world, Seattle Supercross Round 11. Which is now only 17 points apart in the top 3 points table, is Cooper Webb, a two-time champion who this year intends to reclaim the championship with a lead of 225 points, ahead of defending champion Eli Tomac, who is in declining form, lost dozens of points. Until falling to second place, there are 222 points. And another person who is confident, good statistics, overtakes all the rider and has a very small percentage of overtakes but regularly misses, Chase Sexton with 208 points in third place. All three have been winners this season so far, with Webb winning two times, Tomac five, Sexton two times, which is fair to see all three fighting, and in addition to that, each stadium has a lot of exciting things to talk about. Even though all three are in good form, but do you know that only three of those who are still racing have ever won here, with the list being known without Cooper Webb and Sexton? So only Tomac has ever touched the checkered flag in Seattle. If anyone is a fan of Tomac, who won here last year at this time, it must be cold and hot. Let's hope your hands are sweating. The late form was erratic because the YZ450F was stubborn and seemed to have problems on slippery, narrow, deep ruts which this field has all and where will be the static of number two, the score leader who, if passing ten fields and holding a red plate, will end up being a champion every year. Disciples the alien Tomac who thought to be Baber couldn't begin to trust the current situation, therefore making the record of Tomac who had won here might cheer some fans up a bit, and I don't know what's wrong with Tomac when he knows he has a better record than anyone else the performance is as good as a ghost, for example, the previous Daytona was bad form but shines brightly overcoming the competition easily, because he's the one who wins the most Daytona. But a week later he rode like a dog again, finishing 8th, so I didn't put Tomac in the top 5 and turn my attention back to the pool of those who could win this track. Justin Barcia is one of three people who have won here, but going back 10 years when he was a young boy who stepped up to the seniors in his first year, ride a Honda 450F to win the second time in his career at this track. In 2023, when compared track to track, he is back in good form again and Barcia is known as a rider with good driving techniques and when paired with his trusty bike, gas gas, this year's setup is possible. Good in field conditions like this. Seen from Indianapolis Stadium, after half a season voted the toughest stadium. He managed to overtake his opponent from the middle group almost 10 seconds behind the leader Ken Roxen, but instead stuck and almost passed the finish line. Which, after the race, Barcia gave full credit for his exhilarating drive to the Gas Gas team. Which the Seattle field should be another field where Bam Bam fans will have a chance to get him to finish the 10th anniversary celebration again. Maven Musquane the year one in 2017, number 25 is another person who won this place even though he hasn't given up riding yet. But this year's situation has been very bad for the long-necked man from France because he missed an injury in training before the second round started causing him to have a long surgery. Maybe so long that the contract can be cancelled at all because this year it was his 100th year with KTM. It's very difficult to sign each time. And pressure to hurt again. Let's continue to see if he comes back to stay at KTM or worse, at the age of 31, he may retire from racing altogether. How is it for the fans of Tomac and Barcia? From a thin heart, when hearing statistics like this, is it enough to cheer them up? If you like this clip, please press like, press share, press subscribe for each other too, and see you again in the next clip.